Are you wondering how to import an Excel file into monday.com? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, that's exactly what I am going to be showing you how to do. So the first thing that you need to do is to have your Excel file ready. So for the purpose of this demo, I've just created an example dummy data sheet with five columns. So we've got three different projects starting on different start dates, different budgets, different statuses and different priorities. Now these are the columns that made sense to me for this particular upload. Now bear in mind your columns will probably look quite different. I would recommend bolding or at least changing the formatting of the first column, uh, the first row I should say, which should ultimately be your column header. It just makes the next step of the process much easier. So have this file ready in place and then name the file accordingly in a place that you can easily find. And I'll show you why that is important in the next step. So for this demo, I've called this monday.com Excel import makes sense. Now, what you need to do then is go to monday.com and on the left hand side here, you want to click this button. So I'm on the home interface, by the way. So log into your account, go to the home interface and then press this add item to workspace button. At this point, you want to scroll down to import data and then you want to select Excel slash CSV. It will take you to this screen. Now you have two options. One is to open up your file explorer and drag it in or the other way is to click. Both of them work the same. So I'll just show you the click version just for uh, ease of purpose of the demo. This is the file we want, so it's in the recent area. I've gone to the home ribbon and it's the recent, I've recently saved it. And then we just press open. And because it's such a simple file, you'll notice that was very, very quick. It will say, yay, your data is here. You can, if it fails for whatever reason, I've never seen that happen, you could always upload the file again. Or if you chose the wrong file, you can do that from here as well. Then you want to click, let's customize your new board. Now here, it will say, what is your first row? So in this example, the first row will be, um, row two because the first row in in our excel file was the column headers sorry got that wrong we want to select row one because this will become the column titles so that's that's why that's really really important sorry i made a little mistake there excuse me so we'll select row one that will be the column uh, titles we then press next what is your first column so this is where you could select your first column if let's just say as for example purposes you wanted the priority to be the first column then you could select column e but it does make sense just to organize your excel file ahead of the upload that's what i've done so it's going to be column a press next customize your monday.com columns you can select the functionality of each column so at this point we can specify the different types of columns we have so this is naturally our first column it's it's text but this is a date column and it's already noticed that's the case it's already selected that for us so we're going to leave that in place this one we're going to need to change uh, i'm going to change this to a number column because it's numbers we've got a hundred dollars a thousand dollars and that should be yeah that's a thousand dollars as well and then we've got status again it's noticed it's a status column so it's done that already and this is again is another status column but this time it's a uh, priority as opposed to a status so that's all you need to do and then press create board and it will prepare your data and there we go we have a board or a project created from excel and it's got some of these pre-formatting in place we've got a date column we've got a number column and we've got these two um, uh, status columns and you'll notice because i put that as a, as a number column we've got a sum as well which is even better so i hope this video is useful any questions comments feedback drop it down below and i'll get back to you and with all that said best of luck importing your excel data and I hope you have an excellent day.